everyone! It's nice to see you! It's me, Teacher Edeline, your teacher in science, always saying, knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. It's another day that's full of learning and fun. Would you like to come with me? Come on, let's go! Do you know what is this? Yes, you're right. This is a soap. And what it is used for? Very good. It is used for cleaning our body. How about this one? What is this? Come again? Excellent! This is a bleach. And how about this one? What is it used for? Absolutely! It is used for cleaning surfaces and also for disinfecting. These are what we call materials. Materials are substances that are used to produce products. These products are the things that we use in our daily living. Materials can be grouped according to uses. Shampoo, lotion, towel, nail cutter, and cotton buds are materials that be classified as personal care. The products used in maintaining personal hygiene and enhancing body appearance and odor. Bleach, mop, scrubs, detergent powder, chlorine, and gloves are materials that we call cleaning agent. They are used to remove dirt, stain, bad smells, and clutter. Other products like chlorine and bleach are also used for disinfecting materials. Paracetamol, antibiotic, ascorbic acid, and other drug-related products are classified as medicine. Some are used for treating illness prescribed by doctors. Medicine appear in a form of solid or liquid. Baking soda, yeast, vinegar, and flour are classified as cooking ingredients. They are used to add taste and texture to the food. Baking soda is also used as cleaning agents, as it can clean dirt from fruits, vegetables you bought from the market. And it can also clean cooking utensils. All of these materials that we usually use at home are useful to us. But there are some materials that contain chemicals such as detergent, dishwashing liquid, soap, shampoo, bleach, medicines, and even sharp and pointed objects that can be very harmful to us if we do not use or handled properly. What are the things we need to do when using materials? First, always read the label of the materials before using. Second, use appropriate amount of materials as suggested by the manufacturer. Third, 
follow the precautionary measures in using the products. And lastly, make sure that we keep harmful materials out of reach of children. Hope you learned a lot! Thank you for watching! God bless!